Allah. I can give you one hadith that brings tears to the eyes. Listen to it. Muhammad says, Inna Allah idha ahabba abdan nada Jibreel. Fayakulu ya Jibreel, Inna Allah yuhibbu fulanan fa'ahibba. When Allah loves a person, Allah calls Jibreel. And Allah says, Oh Jibreel, Allah loves so and so. So you too love him. So Jibreel begins to love that person and he calls out to the rest of the angels. Oh angels, Allah loves such and such a person on earth. You all love them too. So they begin to love them and they descend upon the earth with the love of that particular person. Wow. And this is why we say, Ya Allah, you know, we say, may Allah love us. Oh Allah, love me. I love you. Subhanallah. We say, I love Allah, I love Allah. But we ask Allah, oh Allah, you love me too. Because if Allah loves you, there's nothing more you need. And the love of Allah does not mean you're going to have everything thrown at your feet. No, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the most beloved to Allah. What did he have? He went through more difficult times than any one of us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us with a few of these qualities. The Prophet وسلم, never raised his voice in a derogatory manner, you know, shouting, screaming. He was never vulgar. He, he was never ever saying hurtful things. With us, we are vulgar and hurtful every single day. And then we're wondering why is it that no one likes us, no one loves us and so on. You want to earn this? Go and study the seerah. Go and study the sunnah. Take a look at the qualities. When we say the way he spoke, the words he used, wallahi, just to think for a moment, this is what the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught. This is what he lived by. He was upon the highest level of contentment ever. Where are we? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us contentment and may Allah open our doors. Jazakumullah khair.